host, this is Inger. I am a Norwegian person living in Japan and singing in a band called The Number Zero. And today I thought I'd tell you guys about our last little outing. I always call it tour, but we're not currently actually on tour, like officially. We just go do shows in places if the event seems interesting. And except for Tokyo, where we're based, we've been a lot to Osaka and Kyoto and Nagoya in this past year of 2019. And this particular trip went to Nagoya. And a few things happened. First of all, we couldn't find a place, which isn't that unusual when we're going to a new place. When we go to Nagoya, we often play at a place called Three Star. Yes, like the rum. But this time we were going to a tiny place called Link in a completely different area. And so we knew we were close, thanks to Google Sensei. But like it often goes, Sensei couldn't really pinpoint the place exactly. So we stopped the car and a few of us got out to find it. This becomes relevant later. Turns out it was right down the street. So we find a parking spot and we start unloading our gear. And uh, that's when I realize my left shoe is gone. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people ask me how I managed to lose one shoe. I'm going to say it's a talent I got because this is not the first time that this has happened to me. It's not even the second time, it's just the second time with this band. So let me try to explain. When I get into the car going on tour, I settle in for at least a couple of hours, right? So I get comfortable. I take my shoes off and leave them on the floor of the car and pull my feet up. That's normal. Everybody in the backseat does that, okay? It's, it's not me being a weirdo. Not this time anyway. But I tend to do this right away when I get in the car. I have poor circulation and also short legs and I want to curl up as soon as I can. So... Sometimes, as we all hustle and bustle to get into the car, one shoe falls out before the doors get closed. And nobody notice until it's time to put the shoes back on. And that's how that happens. How it only seems to happen to me, though, I do not know. I called it a talent, but maybe it's karma. Anyway, at this point, I'm fairly desensitized to my own stupidity, you can say. Last time I lost one of my work shoes, which were really decent good sneakers that I actually spent money on. They cost like 10,000 yen. And this time it was like a 1,500 yen off-brand UGG thing. So annoying. I am not made of money, but by comparison, not so bad. What was a lot worse was that the car had been making a really weird sound the entire way. So we had a rescue guy come and look at it before the sound check. I don't know much about cars, but it's something about the belt and dynamo. Di dynamo. Dynamo? The thing in the car. Basically, we should all count ourselves lucky that we even got all the way to the gig and didn't stop on the motorway some way. So um, there's a lot of looking on the bright side stuff going on, which frankly, we're quite good at. I'll give us that. Even though our wallets are screaming, we try to make the best of it. So the place is really nice. It's called Kurumamichi Link. It's quite small and just everyone's really nice and the mood is great and the sound is decent. And hey, there's a light at the end of the crap tunnel because Taira, who is our guitarist and owner of the car, manages to get a rental car through his insurance. So at least we know that we get to go home without chilling out for like Shinkansen or something. Better yet, my shoe came back this time. One of the other bands actually found it. See, they were having the same problem as us finding the place and they stopped up the same road as we did when we were first coming in. And they see something on the side of the road and they think it's a cat. So they go to see if something's wrong because like it's not moving or whatever. And um, they realize it's just a fussy off-brand UGG. And like any other decent people go, gross. It's a shoe. And leave. But then when they arrive at the venue, one of them randomly sees the video on our Twitter. And they didn't just come and tell me, they went back and got the damn thing for me. Japanese omotenashi. That was so nice. Like I said, it's not really an expensive or super special shoe, but they are damn comfortable. And I'm not a rich person, so I was so happy. Thank you so much. 
Carrying on in the same vein, the show actually went great, the mood was awesome. One of our fans from Tokyo came all the way out to surprise us, which is so nice. Someone really knows how to make a poor indie band's day. Very sadly though, we learned that this would be one of the last shows ever at Kurumamichi Link. Because it is closing down. I honestly wish they would have invited us earlier because it would have been nice to have gotten a chance to play there more often because, like I said, it was just like really nice, it had a really friendly atmosphere, which is something I know I really value in a live venue. Obviously it was very small and not really in the most central area of Nagoya, unfortunately. We've been told to a lot that the whole like loud rock scene in Nagoya is really struggling these days. I remember back in the day with my former band, it used to be one of the most vibrant places to go to play. And now, even at the big festivals and stuff, there are just remarkably less people. There's still a lot, don't get me wrong, but nothing like it used to be. And to be honest, that goes for Tokyo as well. Loud rock and metal has not been like a huge commercial mainstream genre in Japan for a long, long time, but it was doing really well for a while with bands like Las Vegas and Crossfaith and Cold Rain and Sim and now lately it seems to maybe have been taken over a little bit by other genres with a slightly different type of fan base and culture. I'm not gonna be too specific today, I don't want any crap and I want to keep this video as positive as possible. Suffice it to say, sometimes you mix the music and the, the fan bases just don't necessarily go together all that well. And it's alright when a few people do it, but in Japan, if something gets popular, then everyone and their grandma wants to emulate it and shit gets very saturated and places that once were there for a certain group of people get taken over by a completely other group of people. And then shit changes and sometimes disappear. <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop being vague and negative right now. If you wanted that kind of shit, you would just sit down and read my lyrics, I guess. So enough of that for now. Fun thing though, since they're tearing down the walls, we all get to draw on them freely. And we decided that everyone in the band should draw unicorns because that's sort of our thing now, because I love unicorns. So very genuine pieces of art and a lot of laughter came out of it. Also, speaking of unicorns, it was actually my birthday that day, so I got a mountain of unicorn shit. A candy mountain, if you will. Like, wow, thank you so much. This bag that the boys in the band got me is my new favorite accessory. So there's no moral to this story or whatever. A TLDR, I guess, would be... It was a trip with even more ups and downs than usual. But as we mostly do, we came out of it with singing hearts and crying wallets. That's drunk, broke rock and roll for you. Title of my self-biography if I ever have the time to write one. The car, unfortunately, did need fixing for a lot of money, so I'm trying to help a little with financing that. I have finally gotten some gear to edit my art and stuff digitally, and I am updating my Threadless store, and I also got a Redbubble store just because like, I see a lot of people use that. It's not merch or whatever, just some people were asking if I sell any art online. And so, yeah, I might do that. Help me finance our Dynamo, Dynamo, band car. Links below. If you didn't hate this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. There will be more videos suddenly on a non-specific schedule. But one of my New Year's resolutions is being more consistent with YouTube. So consider giving me ideas on what you want me talking about or eventually film for another video. Check out my band, the number zero, in the links below and uh, have a happy new year. Unless you're in China, in which case have a happy same year for a while still. Bye! ま、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>
そこ区切るからこのさそこ上こうやって持ってくるあそうかこうからがね分かれ道やねそうねあれあれどうなるんだろうあれにあれに見えてきたあのあのあのあの<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑